You're the one who sent Kennedy to Washington. You're the one who put the present Democratic administration in Washington, D.C. The whites were evenly divided. It was the fact that you threw 80% of your votes behind the Democrats that put the Democrats in the White House. When you see this, you can see that the Negro vote is the key factor. And despite the fact that you are in a position to, de to be the determining factor, what do you get out of it? The Democrats have been in Washington, D.C. only because of the Negro vote. They've been down there four years. And they're all other legislation they wanted to bring up, they brought it up and gotten it out of the way, and now they bring up you. <laughs> and now they bring up you. Congresswoman Gabbard, you took issue with Senator Harris confronting Vice President Biden at the last debate. You called it a, quote, false accusation that Joe Biden is a racist. What's your response? I want to bring the conversation back to the broken criminal justice system that is disproportionately negatively impacting black and brown people all across this country today. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, Senator Harris, your response? A whole lot of people out there that don't necessarily care about the people you and I care about. But they do care about safe streets. I increased the vote in Virginia overwhelmingly by 70%. Look, what people don't know about me is I come from a state that's the eighth largest black population in America. The eighth largest. I get 96% of that vote for the last 40 years. It's, they're, they're the folks, as they say it my way, brung me to the dance. That's how I get elected every single time. And everybody's shocked. I get overwhelming support from the black leadership, young and old. Every poll shows me way ahead. And it's not just, I hear this, oh yeah, old blacks are with Biden, but young aren't. Look at the polling data. Falling down, let's say it's off by half. Come on, man. And now they bring up you. <laughs> and now they bring up you. You put them first and they put you last. Because you're a chump. <laughs> a political chump. In Washington, D.C., in the House of Representatives, there are 257 who are Democrats. Only 177 are Republican. In the Senate, there are 67 uh, Democrats. Only 33 are Republicans. The party that you backed controls two-thirds of the House of Representatives and the Senate, and still they can't keep their promise to you, because you're a chump. <laughs> Anytime you throw your weight behind a political party that controls two-thirds of the government and that party can't keep the promise that it made to you during election time and you are dumb enough to walk around continuing to identify yourself with that party, you are not only a chump, but you're a traitor to your race. I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people.